I'm Allison Cornell and I'm an emergency doctor working at Blue Pearl in Queens. I think one of the most important things students should know about this career path is that there are so many different opportunities uh, once you have your DVM degree. So it's not just about being um, a general practitioner, which I think everyone, when they first decide, I want to be a vet, that's what you think about because that was the exposure that you had when you were a kid. There are a lot of other opportunities out there because your you know, career is long uh, and you want to be able, it's nice to be able to move around. So you can be a general practitioner, you can do a residency and be a specialist, just like in human medicine, you can specialize in one area like ophthalmology or cardiology. Um, you can work with small animals, you can work with large animals, you can work in industry, you can go into research. Um, there's just, there's so many opportunities that uh, come your way once you have this degree. I probably would have specialized in uh, ophthalmology. <laughs> I probably would have done a residency. Uh, it, I really love working with large animals and small animals. Um, and I like the idea of knowing a lot about something really small, uh, like a, a smaller area, kind of narrowing your scope of practice. So if there's one thing that I could do differently, that's probably what it would have been, yeah. One of the things I find the most rewarding about this career pathway is really you know, treating the animals and being able to fix them when you can. So as an emergency doctor, um, you know, getting an animal in that looks really sick, is totally flat, uh, and within 12 hours being able to turn that around and you know, reunite them with their families is an amazing feeling. So my typical day on emergency, um, get to work by seven, and then you have a handoff. Uh, the overnight doctor will kind of round you and all the patients that are in the hospital. And then I start going through them one by one. So you do a physical exam, you write your soap for every patient that's in the hospital, uh, and make just like a treatment plan, figure out what you're gonna do. Is it a patient that is gonna go back to their family veterinarian? Is it a patient that needs to be transferred to another service? Um, or is it a patient that you're gonna keep on the emergency service? And then I call all of my clients, and then I just field emergencies throughout the day. The hope is to get in, get that done, and then start seeing emergencies, but that's not really how emergency works. It's often like feast or famine. So you're trying to do 35 things at once, or it's crickets. You know, it's, it's hard to get that perfect balanced day on emergency. Once you're in vet school, try and expose yourself to as many different areas of veterinary medicine as possible. So take every opportunity, like say yes. So if you have a long winter break or summer break, try and work in different capacities. Um, it's, you know, work at a GP, work at a specialty hospital, work on an ER floor, work in a ClinPath lab, um, go to, you know, different countries and do spay neuter clinics. Um, really get maximum exposure so that you can make a better decision about where your interests really lie. Also, I, I always think it's a great idea to take as many leadership and communication classes as you can. Honestly, once you put these scrubs on or like a white coat on, you really are a leader and you're only gonna help yourself contribute to a positive culture by recognizing that kind of what you put out is gonna affect everyone around you once you are wearing that white coat. Uh, so I think taking some leadership classes and getting a better handle on how to do that is gonna benefit everybody um, who becomes a doctor.